guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to talk about the 21 books I would like to read in 2021. So, to make this fair and because I have a huge TBR of books that I am having an ultimate goal of to at least get down further in 2021, I picked 21 books that I have on my TBR. These are books that I already own that I've probably owned some of them for a while and just haven't read. I did have a video earlier in the 12 days of Bookmas that was the 10 books I wish I read in 2020. I avoided all of those books and only picked 21 other books that I still want to read. The ones that I wanted to read in 2020, I still do want to read them, but I figured I'd give some other books a chance. The first book I have here is a huge one, but I don't actually want to read The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I want to read the third book, Life, the Universe, and Everything by Douglas Adams. I read the first two books in this series in 2020, and I really enjoyed the first one, wasn't as happy with the second one, but I still want to continue. I don't know if I'm going to finish the rest of the series in 2021, but I do at least want to get to life, the universe, and everything. Next, I have a manga. This is Waiting for Spring by Anna Shin. I'm holding up volume one right here, but I do actually own the first 12 volumes. I do think this series is still ongoing, but I stopped reading this series because I had caught up like in 2019. I don't think I actually picked up a waiting for spring in 2020 at all um, but I read up to where we were in 2019 and then I just kept buying books so I think I read the first six or seven volumes but now I have 12 it's still ongoing and so I want to restart the series to reread some of my favorite volumes because I think I gave all volumes in the series like five stars and then continue with it. This is a shoujo series about a girl who befriends the boys on the basketball team and it's really cute and I just really loved it and so yeah I need to continue. The next one I want to read is Starfleet Academy Delta Anomaly. This is by Rick Barba. This is the first book in the Starfleet Academy series. These are YA Star Trek books. I think there's only four books in the series and I own all four of them but I have never actually read them. I I am obsessed with Star Trek, specifically the original series, but also like the 2009 reboot. Um, I just love Kirk and Spock and, you know, that gang. So I definitely need to get to these because I've owned these for years, literally, for years. I don't know too much about it except for it does follow them during the Starfleet Academy years. And I think it's time I picked up at least the first one. The next book that I would like to read is going to be The AI Who Loved Me by Alyssa Cole. This is a novella that I purchased on ebook a while ago because I believe it's an Amazon exclusive or a Kindle exclusive. However, I read her Reluctant Royals series in 2020 and just never actually picked up this novella, even though it follows an AI. Like, I think it's about a girl who thinks her next door neighbor is an AI or knows her next door neighbor is an AI. I'm not entirely too sure, but yes, I definitely want to try and read this as well. Then I have King of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This is actually a Christmas present from Sasha from Well Read and Half Dead. I will leave her channel linked down below. She kindly, kindly sent this over to me and I cannot appreciate her enough. I have gotten to know her throughout 2020 and absolutely love her. And I think we're going to buddy read this in 2021. I don't know exactly when, what month, but I think that is a good plan that we need to stick to. Um, all I know about this is it is a fantasy about older mercenaries, like they're retired or something, but they have to go off and try to find one of the men's daughters. I think I've heard it's sort of funny as well, so I'm very much looking forward to this. Next, I have not read, I don't think at all, any Stephen King in the year of 2020. I I'm usually a big fan of Stephen King, but I just have been taking a break for the last year or two. So I decided I should definitely put one on my list, and I picked The Stand. Um, I don't know exactly why, except for I did go on my Goodreads, typed in, in my want to read shelves, Stephen King. And decided to see what the like highest rated book was that I have not read yet that I did say I want to read. There's a lot of Stephen King that I probably haven't read that I just didn't say I wanted to read on Goodreads. I probably have a lot that I need to go through. But this is the highest rated one. 
I'm a little bit intimidated because of the size. However, I have read it multiple times and I want to say they are pretty comparable size-wise. Um, this is the only copy of the stand I have right now, so I will probably end up reading this one. Gorgeous end papers. I actually bought this for myself around Black Friday. Not actually on Black Friday, but around Black Friday. And yeah, I'm very nervous but also excited to get to it. This edition, I don't know about all the other editions, but this edition has illustrations and everything too. So yeah, the stand. Um, I do believe this has something to do with some sort of medical thing. We have like a test tube on here. Um, I don't know if it's a plague. I mean, we have biohazard signs. I don't know, but yeah, I think this is the one we're going with for Stephen King. Next, I want to read Wolf Song by TJ Klune. I have this on ebook. I'm super, super excited to get to it. I read The Extraordinaries by TJ Klune in 2020. Enjoyed that one well enough. I think I gave it like four out of five stars, but that is YA, whereas Wolf Song is more, I think, new adult romance. Um, I have heard nothing but good things. I just have heard that the romance and the actual like emotions it makes you feel is amazing and I, I want that. I want that so bad. So this is on my list for sure. Then I have Heroin Worship by Sarah Kuhn. I read Heroin Complex in 2020. That is the first book in this series. And basically this is a really funny sort of like B sci-fi action movie with super heroes. I say heroes with an S even though there's really only like one person who actually wants to be a superhero, but there are some people with powers. I really, really enjoyed the first one, and I love the covers of these. I love the fact that our main characters are Asian American. I love the humor that's in these two. Like our first book literally opens up with our superhero fighting demon cupcakes. Like they're demons that came through to our world and like latched onto a cupcake form, and so they're like, demon cupcakes um it is just so fun i don't know why i haven't picked this one up yet but yeah this is a series that i'm really getting into and i need to read the second book then i also want to read skullduggery pleasant by derek landy this is the first book in a middle grade series i don't know why i'm starting new series when i have so many that i need to finish however this is one that I've been meaning to read for a while. Um, it's about a girl whose uncle, I believe, wrote stories that are like fantasy based. And after he passes away, she comes to find out that maybe they weren't as fictional as she thought they were. And there is some sort of skeleton detective. I don't know, but a lot of people like this and I just think it seems super fun. So this one too. Then we have Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile by Shannon Messenger. This is the second book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series. This was also a Christmas present. This was from Ashley at Bookish Realm. Again, thank you so, so much, Ashley. We're being loud. Um, but I read the first one in this series actually last month. Loved it, five out of five stars. I am so excited to continue. This is a middle grade series that is fantasy. Our main character in the first book finds out pretty darn early in the book that she's not actually human, she is an elf and she has telepathy and there's lots of magical creatures and I don't exactly know where the second book is going to go but I really really do need to continue on with this series. I loved the first one. Then I have Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. I actually own all three books in this series and I have not started it at all. I am a sucker for sci-fi though. This is an adult sci-fi series. I don't know too much about it except for I do believe one of our characters, maybe it's our main character, thank you, come sit, finds a hand, uh, like a metal hand, and then I don't know, it goes from there. I'm pretty darn sure. Also, I do have all the hardcovers because <laughs> look at how gorgeous. But yeah, I don't know what really goes on in this one but I have all three books and so I should at least start the series even though I just said earlier I shouldn't be starting series. The next book that I want to read is Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. I have this on ebook as well. This is another sci-fi. I do believe it's a novella though but I believe it's adult sci-fi. I don't know much else but again it's one of those highly rated series and this is again the first book in the series um, and I want to read it. Then I want to read Longshot by Kennedy Ryan. This is another one I have as an ebook already. And 
This is romance. I think it's new adult romance, leaning into adult romance. It is apparently very dark with some of its themes and topics, but also very rewarding with like the actual romance and emotions that it has. And I'm ready for it. I, I need it. I've been hearing so many good things in the last couple years for it, so yes. Then I have Death Vigil Volume 1 by Stay Up On The Sage. This is a graphic novel, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think it came out in comic issues. And it says volume one. I don't remember if it ever had a second volume come out, but this has been on my Goodreads want to read for years. I actually picked this up at a Phoenix Comic Con two years ago because we didn't go um, this year because of COVID. It got canceled, but I believe I picked it up the year before, so in 2019, and I just haven't read it yet. I do believe it is quite dark. It has necromancers and old gods and monsters and reapers. I don't know. The art style is what originally turned me on to it. I mean like that's some sort of monster and so yeah I definitely want to read this one. Then I have Secret Vampire by LJ Smith. Another first book in a series of a series that never finished. It has been like what at least 15 years or something like that in between the last book that got published and the book that was supposed to come out. But I purchased the whole series in these really, really cool like 90s covers. I'm a sucker for these like young adult paranormal 90s-ish covers. And I really do want to see what the hype is all about. I do know the series is not finished. It might never actually be finished, but I'm sort of excited to jump in and actually see what it is about. I mean, it's it's why a paranormal with vampires, I'm assuming, and I love the covers. Next, I have The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. I have never actually read The Raven King. I have read everything else in the Raven Boys series except for this one. The main reason I have never actually read it is that I have the paperbacks. I was reading these as paperback and I read the first three as soon as they came out in paperback, basically. And usually in publishing, you have the hardcover come out, and then about a year later, you have the paperback come out. But there are some times where it takes a while for the paperback version to actually come out. And for whatever reason, this series, with this last book, that's what happened. We were getting the paperback versions about a year after everything else, but the paperback of this one, I want to say took at least two to three years after the hardcover came out for it actually to be released. And by that time, I wanted to reread the entire series to get to this one. And then I have been very bad about rereading books I need to reread. I'm trying to be better about that in 2021. So I'm saying The Raven King, but I do want to reread The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue first. He is just being a little loud with his car over here, but otherwise we're good. Then I have Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is another middle grade fantasy series that I have heard nothing but good things about. I bought it in 2020, near the end of 2020. It hasn't been on my shelves for very long, but I definitely need to read it. I don't know. Thank you. Those are your wipes. Yeah. Okay, I open it and then you come over here, okay? I don't know too much about it except for Morgan is cursed and she is doomed to die at midnight on her 11th birthday. And then it goes from there. I'm very, very excited. Next, I have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This I've had for a little while as well. And the concept sounds amazing, but I'm a little worried about the actual execution of it. Although I shouldn't be because Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena loves, loves this book. So I should not be worried about it. I trust her opinion wholly. So basically this is a book where Evelyn Hardcastle is doomed to die at a certain time on a certain date. And we are gonna be following eight different witnesses, I believe it is. Yeah, there are eight days and eight witnesses for you to inhabit. We will only let you escape once you tell us the name of the killer. So like you're gonna be following eight different people in the same day over and over just to see the different like how the crime works I guess I don't know the whole concept of it sounds amazing and I just haven't picked it up yet so 2021 is the year next 
I want to read Artificial Condition by Martha Wells. This is the second book in the Murderbot series. I read All Systems Red, really, really enjoyed it. It is a tour novella, so they are quite quick to read. It is adult sci-fi. I really love the fact that our main character of Murderbot is sort of snarky and sarcastic, but it's also an AI or cyborg type thing. They do have robotic parts, but they also seem to have sort of like human skin on them. I don't know exactly um, what they are considered that way, but I really love the first one and I really do need to continue on with the series. I have this on ebook, so it should be pretty easy to read. Next, I have Running With Lions by Julian Winters. This is a young adult contemporary sports romance, I think it is. I have had this for a while as well. I've heard it's very, very cute. I am super excited for it, even though it is sports, like I believe it's soccer, and I am definitely not a sports person, but I have read sports romances and that kind of thing in the past that I still just absolutely love. So I think I'm just not as good about participating or watching sports, but reading about the people that play them seemed to work for me. And then finally, last but not least, because I was going through this in alphabetical order, I have Blood Air by Amelie Wen Zhao. This is another one that I've had for a while. I actually received this in a shelf love crate. The company is now bankrupt or something. They don't exist anymore. But I received this, the year it came out in 2019. So again, I've had it for a while and I definitely just need to get to it. This is a young adult fantasy sort of retelling of Anastasia. I don't know how that's going to work, but it's gonna have blood magic. I'm pretty darn sure. And yes, I, I just need to get to this one. So that is all 21 books. <laughs> Come back over here so you're not in my way. All 21 books that I do want to read in 2021. I do think I'm going to be putting this list as a spread in my 2021 bullet journal at the beginning of the year. Um, that way I can make sure I'm checking things off because I don't want to just push these books to the wayside again and not read any of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I usually have videos up Mondays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays, but I am still doing the 12 days of Bookmas, so I will have a new video up tomorrow, and I will see you then. Bye!